I'm with the U-Haul company and today I'm going to show you how to install a hitch on a Ford full-size van. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. As you can see, underneath the full-size Ford van, there are multiple holes for installation of where the bolts would go. It's a fairly easy install and the easiest way to do this is to get the hitch mounted into position so we know which one of these holes we'll be using. All right, now that you're ready to install your trailer hitch on your Ford van, what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up the hitch so we know which holes we're gonna use for the installation of the hardware. I'm uh, doing this by myself today, so I am lucky enough to have this awesome U-Haul hitch jack that makes it a one-man job, but if you don't have this jack, then you're gonna have to get a family member or friend to hold this up for you for a couple minutes. I have seen some People use floor jacks to hold them up. But this thing is amazing. So we're gonna get this lined up. Make sure. Both sides line up correctly. Now as you can see, this is where we're gonna drop our hardware down by just reaching up over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. So this hitch does require that spacers are put in between the frame and the hitch. So doing that, we're gonna wanna take the spacer that is on the bolt and the spacer that goes in between and just reach up and line them up. and drop your bolt down. And you'll repeat the process. There. And you'll repeat the process here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the passenger side now. So in this hitch, there's two of these that come with them. Those go up in the front. The hardware kit installation will tell you in the picture what position to put them in. So don't get discouraged by which bolt goes where. The instructions tell you exactly where they go. In some of the uh, installations, you have to drop the spare tire or there'll be a canister. We got lucky with this hitch. We don't need to do either one of them. It just lines right up for us and we just drop the bolts in. So now, for installing the washers and the nuts, I wanna point out that all of these washers have these little teeth on them. Those are to be facing up towards the vehicle. So we're gonna install by pushing just that up. Sometimes you have to reach around and hold a little pressure on it. And just spin that on there. Do the same thing on these as well. And then I'm gonna repeat the process on the driver's side, making sure I put them straight up towards the vehicle. Make sure you don't cross-thread them, because that isn't too fun when you're trying to tighten them. Go ahead and get these all hand tight now. So now that I have everything installed as far as the hardware and the spacers, 
I'm gonna remove the jack because I need to get underneath to tighten up all the hardware and then torque it for the specs. So we'll get this out of the way. Remove this, pull this out, run over my tools and get this out of the way. And now we're ready to tighten up the hardware. We're gonna use a three quarter inch, a three fourth combo wrench. <laughs> and then we are gonna use a three quarter inch socket, five inch extension, and this is our torque wrench that we have set at 75 pounds. Uh, you wanna get that foot pound set correctly because it does make the hitch stable and safe. A lot of people will use impacts, other things, do the, the torquing of the, the hitch. So we're gonna use the combo wrench on the top to get a part of that around the nut so we can hold that around the top of the bolts. And we're just gonna keep tightening. Sometimes you gotta put a little body into it. You heard your snap? That one's good. Now on to number two. Get my combo wrench in position up here. Get my socket into place. Begin to tighten. Nope, heard that? That one's good to go. And because the rear bolt is a locking carriage bolt, which you'll notice from your instructions on your hardware, we don't need to worry about it spinning because it's locked into pit place right now with the, the spacers we've put in. Pushing is always better than pulling, if possible. Already done. So we'll continue the same process on the passenger side until all of them have been torqued at 75 foot pounds. Oh. And same thing on this side. If the exhaust prevents you from using the extension, which it will, I'm gonna take that off and just put our socket right on the torque wrench. And this is a carriage bolt again, like it was on the other side. So no need to hold it on the top to tighten it. It will not spin because you're locking spacer. And there it is. All right, so now that I've completed the installation of the hardware and I've torqued all the hardware bolts per spec, our installation has now been completed. As you can see, we have a two inch receiver capable of having a hitch haul ball mount with a five eighths inch hole for your pin and click or locking mechanism if you put a bike rack or um, your ball mount gets locked in there. Um, very big holes to have your safety chains attached to them. And as you can see right here, your max gross trailer weight of 6,000 pounds and your tongue weight of 900 pounds with the option of weight distribution. It is easy install and anyone can do it. So thank you for watching this video. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.